Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith. Kill him! Now, really, is that any way to treat your family? Family? Kira, you know this man? Don't listen to him. He's trying to confuse you. Us. Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor, like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. I've never heard of any Emperor's children. Who are you people? The Chosen Ones, selected at birth to serve our father's great glory. A distinction we should wear with pride. Don't deny your true lineage. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. It doesn't matter where she came from. She's my Padawan. Tell our father not to expect any calls or letters. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive. And... Where to find you? No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now. And he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. So be it, sister. <laughs> Thanks for sticking by me. I know this was a big shock, but I can explain. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... brutal. I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. One day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. I'm starting to understand. You escaped the Sith, didn't you? Nobody treats me like a droid and gets away with it. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Did you tell Master Coix about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just... Hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. Master Satil and the others need to know about this. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Kawix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. <laughs> The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Blast! I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. That isn't like Master Coix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Understood, General. 
But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? I'd like to know what that is. Sorry, General. Jedi business. Fine, if that's how you want to play it. Angrel's still out there. May the Force be with us all. Varsuth, we're out. Let's get this over with. Master Kuix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Kawix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira when Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? The situation doesn't require a reaction. I just thought you should know the truth. And now that we know, we can't ignore the threat she represents to our entire order. To allow her to remain a Padawan, become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turned to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. Kira's a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Kawix were here, she'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. You did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Don't think I didn't notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I never felt this close to Master Kawix. Your support was... special. I'll always help you however I can, Kira. That's my job as your teacher. You do more than any master should, and I'm grateful for it. Ready to go whenever you are, master. <laughs> 